Hello everyone, in this video we will discuss about gyroscopic effect on naval ships. Now before studying about the naval ships, there are certain terms that we need to know. The first term is the bow or the fore. The front end of the ship is also called as the bow or the fore. The rear or the back end is known as the stern or aft. Now if we stand at the side of the stern, if we stand at the stern or the rear end of the ship, the right hand side of the ship is called as the starboard and if from the same position, that means from uh, when you are standing at the rear end, the left hand side is called as the port. So when you look from the top view of the ship, when you look from the top view of the ship, the left hand and the right hand side are known as the port and starboard respectively. Now pitching is the up or down movement of the bow and stern. Bow which is the front end and stern which is the rear end. Right? So in this diagram we can see pitching which is rising and lowering. So this is the simultaneous motion. When the bow rises stern it is lowered down. When stern rises bow is lowered down. Now to understand how the effect of pitching works with the help of gyroscopic couple, we have taken a case. We are considering that the plane of spin of all the rotating parts or the rotor is horizontal and the angular velocity of rotation is omega which is in the clockwise direction and the viewer is at the stern end or at the rear end and from here the viewer is observing the movement or the motion of the ship right so because we say that the plane of spin is horizontal when we plot the vector diagram we say and in clockwise direction so when you apply the right hand screw rule we say that the thumb point in this direction right so we plot a vector here right which is oa which is giving the initial position of the angular velocity now we have taken two cases one when the ship is taking a left turn and another when the ship is taking a right turn so in first case when ship is taking the left turn the new position of angular velocity will become ob in which magnitude remains the same only the excess of spin it changes that means we are bringing into account the angular velocity of precision now this AB it is giving what it is giving us the active gyroscopic couple. Now whenever we are trying to change angular velocity we are applying certain torque and this torque it exists in the form of a couple. So for, a, for an active gyroscopic couple there also exists an exist a reactive gyroscopic couple right which is denoted by B dash A dash and it will bring about the pitching movement in the ship. Now again when you apply the right hand screw rule on the basis of this arrow what we see that the movement is in counterclockwise direction. So counterclockwise direction when it is applied on the ship we see that it raises the bow or the fore and it lowers the stern. Right? And when we take the right hand turn so what happens the initial it remains the same OA taking the right hand turn so the new position becomes OC. AC, AC is what it is the active gyroscopic couple and C dash A dash it so shows the reactive gyroscopic couple. Now again when we apply the right hand thumb rule we see that this is the direction in which the fingers, fingers curl and this arrow shows the direction of the thumb. So we say that the sense or the direction of reactive gyroscopic couple is in clockwise direction. So when we apply this effect of clockwise direction, clockwise gyroscopic couple, we see what happens. The stern, it is raised and the bow, it is lowered. Now the next effect is rolling. Rolling is what? It is the angular motion about the transverse axis that means if you look from the top view the side to side right or the port starboard here you can uh, visualize that from side to side or port starboard tilting motion of the ship 
that is called as the rolling now in case of rolling there is no gyroscopic effect because there is no precision of axis the reason being the axis of spin and the axis of rolling both the axis are same right the rolling it takes about this axis and in the same axis the rotation of the rotating parts take place therefore there is no gyroscopic effect now the third case is the case of steering this is basically a simple harmonic motion in which the ship turns from side to side when we are viewing from the top so the, the ship turns from side to side now again if we take the case where the plane of spin is horizontal and the angular velocity is omega in the clockwise direction and we are viewing from the rear end if we make the velocity diagram similar to that of the pitching we will find that the case when bow rises bow is in case of ship the front part is the bow and the rear part is the stern so when the bow rises that means the motion is counterclockwise in that case the ship it moves towards if in this case we see the counterclockwise motion the ship moves towards the port or the left hand side and when the ship or moves towards the rear end right that means when the direction of reactive gyroscopic couple is clockwise then what happens in this motion if we see from the stern from the top view we will see in case of the uh, clockwise motion the ship move towards the right hand side which is towards the starboard thank you